Balance is not what you get. Balance is what you do. And I came in here, I saw this lectern in the room. Check this thing out. This has seen a lot of meetings, right? It's, can you see how wobbly that is? It's barely attached to the base. Sort of like, if we think of this as a metaphor, the foundations of your life, which are shifting and precarious. Maybe your health, your career, the way uh, education is financed, or, or the students coming into your classroom, or all the variables that you have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. How do you do it? Well, pay attention. I'm not sure how long this will last. Here we go. Yeah, you should see it from up here. <clears throat> but look, but watch. <laughs> I'm not balanced. I'm balancing. I'm making choices. I'm making adjustments constantly. I'm working really hard. And after all this work, after all this effort, I haven't gone anywhere, right? Thank you. I'll say that again. After all of that effort, I haven't gone anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still in the same place. I'm just a lot more exhausted. And this is how most people live their lives. When they're faced with uncertainty, they say, what do I need to do to protect it, to stay where I am, to work harder than ever before, to continue doing what I'm doing, or knowing what I'm knowing. And then there's others who are invested in the future, who say, out of uncertainty is the opportunity if you can see it, if you can elevate your vision and then lean in and go off balance on purpose. I wrote that book, Off Balance on Purpose, to free you from this unrealistic expectation of attaining balance because it's not what you get, it's what you do. But more than that, I wanted to liberate you from the sense of guilt you may be feeling because you don't have it now. You are incredible people. You are fiercely dedicated to the lives of those around you, to the next generations of leaders and business owners and contributors to our world. And yet, you're also dedicated to your families and your friends and loved ones. And maybe on top of all that effort that you're putting out there, there's this residual guilt because you can't do it all. You can't be all things to all people all the time. And you need to let that go because it's preventing you from being in the moment, from being all of you at any given time.